If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Today's program was furnished by a grant from the Beanery Depot in Delhi, featuring coffee, made to order subs, and snacks. The Beanery Depot in Delhi, in Mahoning Town. Butts Flowers and Gifts offers top quality flower arrangements and gifts for any occasion. The pros at Butts Flowers and Gifts provide exceptional customer service and each bouquet is hand arranged. Stop in and check out their wide selection of gift baskets and plants. They provide flower delivery service locally to Newcastle, Bessemer, Edinburgh, New Wilmington, West Pittsburgh and across the nation. It's Butts Flowers at 120 East Washington Street in downtown Newcastle. Call 724-652-7727 or toll free 1-800-443-7726. NC TV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Goes on with all the news and information you need. Now, pro life events have been scheduled January 19th and 21st. Okay. And um, we would like to be. We would be very grateful they came in to say if we would announce this over. It's the 32nd annual Light a Candle for Life Prayer Vigil. Okay, the 32nd annual Light a Candle for Pro-Life Prayer Vigil of the Newcastle Chapter of People Concerned for the Unborn Child will be held January 21st at Kennedy Square. That's the Diamond in Newcastle. Uh, the event includes lighting of 1,000 votive candles in memory of 61 million American babies, boys and girls who have died by abortion. Their mothers have been forever harmed by their abortion since the Supreme Court's decision of Roe v. Wade and Doe v. Bolton back January 22, 1973. Beginning at 6, every person will pick up a luminary kit, which is filled with dry sand and a white bag, with the names of the babies who never got named because they were never born, printed by students at the Newcastle Christian Academy and St. Vitus School. And I'm sure you've seen this. It, it goes around the diamond. It goes down the walks on the diamond. Um, at 6 p.m., comments by Claudia McConnell, co-chair of the PCUC, uh, opening prayer by David Bell, pastor of United Brethren Church, God Bless America, by students of St. Vitus and Newcastle Christian Academy, and American Heritage Girls. This is followed by the lighting of the luminaries. At 7, a prayer service at St. Mary's Parish Center, one block off of Kennedy Square, will be uh, made by uh, Susan Desi, co-chair of PCUC of Newcastle. The main speaker, Sarah Brown uh, Bowen, excuse me, executive director of the Alpha Omega Centers, followed by the benediction by Reverend Zachary Goliath, parochial victor, Catholic community of Newcastle. Those attending are encouraged to bring new baby items to be donated to the Alpha Omega Centers. Now, we're going to get back right after these messages. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. 
If you're having a party, then Keystone Specialty is the place you need to go. Yes, they have every party supply that you can imagine. Planning that wedding, that graduation, or maybe it's just that big game that's coming up. Go to Keystone Specialty. Party supplies and so much more. Remember, they have those fall decorations, winter, spring, and summer. It's Keystone Specialty on the south side of Newcastle, Mill Street. If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island, downtown Newcastle on Kennedy Square. Chuck Tanner would be proud of the restaurant that bears his name. Chuck Tanner's Restaurant, owned and operated by the Papazikas family, would love for you to be part of a Newcastle tradition. Come enjoy the great breakfast, super lunch, and second-to-none dinner choices from their Italian, Mediterranean, and American cuisine. You can relax with a wonderful atmosphere and something from the bar. If you're planning an event, ask about their banquet facility. Tanner's Restaurant is located at 2305 Wilmington Road in Ushanic Township. Call 724-658-50. News Watch coming at you with all the news, views, and things you need to know. Now, Lancer Nation, just remember that January 10th, Wednesday, important day, 630 at the Crane Room. The NAA will meet on Wednesday, January 10th at 630 at the Crane Room. And the meeting will be to start community uh, committees organizing and a general membership meeting will follow. They hope to see you there. And very important that you intend. It helps with everything going on out there in Lancer Nation. So um, make sure you do that. And we're going to take this break. We'll be right back after these messages. Today's programming is brought to you by NC TV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. A special thanks to the YMCA for caring about the Lawrence County community and providing funding for this program. And welcome to News Watch. This important Wednesday, January 10th at 6.30. It's a committee, a committee meeting, a committee, a little entertainment there. Committee of the whole management meeting at 6.30. That's at Union. So uh, make sure if you're supposed to attend that meeting, there's a little heads up for you reminder. Now we'll be back right after this. This program furnished by a grant from May Landscaping and Lawn Service. Affordable prices, no job too big or small. General and skilled labor. May Landscaping. program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Hello and welcome once again to the Cedars Sports Corner and let's get right to college basketball. Number seven, Duke will be visiting the Pitt Panthers, while the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, they're taking on Georgia Tech. Over in the NBA, it's the Bulls at the Knicks and the Heat at the Pacers. 
The NHL light schedule today, Ottawa at Toronto, Minnesota at Chicago. And um, if you're wondering about the Pens, they won't be on the ice until Saturday. This was the Cedar Sports Corner, and we'll be right back after this timeout. Let Clark's Furniture be your go-to destination for all of your furniture needs. Check this out. Seven-piece bedroom by Ashley was $38.69, sold for $27.99. Great pricing on futons made by the Coaster Company. Wind furniture made in America. Great quality. Sofa sold for $547, chair only $397. Seven-piece queen bedroom set by Vaughn Bassett, all American made. These are just some of the super deals at Clark's Furniture. Located at 346 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-657-5668. Welcome once again to Lawrence County 45 weather. Well, after last night's mostly cloudy low of 22, how's your Wednesday looking? Cloudy, 45, and here comes the rain. 60% chance of rain. And um, so stuff will start to be washing away. Cars might get a nice free wash. As uh, the day continues, mostly cloudy, 41 Wednesday night with a low of low of 41, 30% chance of rain. Out pops your Thursday, mostly cloudy and 56. Now, as the day goes on Thursday, in comes the clouds. We'll drop to 43 with a 40% chance of rain. Friday, yes, Chance of rain continues at 80% with a cloudy 48. Now, that chance will go up as the day goes on on Friday. The temperature will go down. The chance of precipitation goes up. So that by Friday evening, it's rain and sleet. With a low of 24, conditions will be icy, and there's a 100% chance of that precipitation. Saturday, cloudy. 27 with a 70% chance of snow. Yeah, the white stuff is coming. Saturday night, a low around 10 and a 30% chance of snow. As you get to Sunday, mostly cloudy and 18. Sunday night, mostly cloudy and 4. And then for Monday, Martin Luther King Day, partly sunny and a high of 20. Now that's been... Lawrence County 45 weather, and uh, we'll be right back after we hear from these great sponsors. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Well, welcome. 
Welcome back. Hopefully you're having a great lunch and a great Wednesday. That's it for this midday news watch. We're going to wrap it up right here. Make sure that you get out and about. The weather is absolutely gorgeous. Get a nice lemonade or iced tea. Come downtown. Stop at the Confluence. Get a sandwich. It's a great day to be in Newcastle. So uh, make sure you tell a friend about NCTV45. They'll be glad you did. And by all means, make sure that you have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the County of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you on later.